Hello, Stampers. It's Catherine Pooler. Welcome to my stamp room today, and we're going to do another Got 10 card, so a card in less than 10 minutes. This is my 8.5 by 11 card stock, cut in half the long way at 4 and a quarter. I'm going to take just a little piece of designer paper. I'm going to use this as an accent, so it doesn't really matter how skinny it is, maybe an inch or so. And I know the width of my card is 4 and a quarter, so I'm cutting that like that set my card stock or my paper cutter aside and I'll work on the base of my card. This is Crumb Cake, formerly known as Craft. If I stamp it up, gonna fold it in half and see how my paper looks all rumply right here. See that it's all rumply? Well if you have a bone folder, you can smooth it right out and make it nice and flat. I am going to use my Crumb Cake ink and uh, the Autumn Days stamp set. Let's see, I'm going to use these and just do a little bit of background stamping. I'm gonna use my Bravo Burgundy ink pad and the Many Merry Messages stamp set by Stampin' Up! And I want to use Season's Greetings. I really like that font. And I'm going to stamp it right across the bottom. I'm going to do some sponging for sure. Okay, then I have my layers. I'm going to put my Bravo Burgundy up on top, and I'm going to do a little designer paper below it. I think I want this to sparkle and shine. So I have my Shimmer Mist. This is a spray bottle filled with rubbing alcohol. I put a couple drops of champagne um, shimmer paint in it. This stuff right here. And I'm going to spray. And because it has rubbing alcohol, it dries really fast. Look at how gorgeous and sparkly and shimmery that is. I'm going to adhere these together, showing just a little bit of my designer paper. And there you have it. This is a super simple 10-minute card. Once I finished filming, I looked at this card for a minute, and it just wasn't sitting right for me. I thought it needed something else. And I was just going to ditch the whole thing. But then it occurred to me what I could add. <laughs> so I wanted to add a little bit of Stampin' Up's Crochet Trim. And then I'm going to punch a hole using my Cropodile. And I'm going to add an antique brad. And this particular pattern here, that's like my favorite. Love that one. And then I'm going to adhere my card back together. Yeah, let's see how this looks. Okay, J adding just a little bit of ribbon and a brad, I think, made the difference for me. And I think I like this card now. <laughs> I wasn't liking it before. So let me know what you think and what you would add to it or what, what you would change. I hope you have a wonderful day, and thanks for visiting Catherine Buehler.